Really wouldn't put it past him. We gotta... Oh, okay. Alright. Oh. 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 Oh! Ow, ow, ow. ow. Okay, okay. I got a little bit cocky with it, I will admit. <laughs> Alright, let's, uh... And he got a bit upset with me, I think. Let's just do this, then. That works. Actually works. It really does work. Oh, God, is this gonna be the entire fight? Ugh. It's when he hits twice, like that, then I'm in trouble. So I've gotta be really careful with it. And, well, catches me off guard every so often. I need to do tighter circles. It's a bit difficult, though. Alright, I need to heal myself. I'm on red, unfortunately. God, it's not gonna be easy. Uh, for the final fight, I guess I do actually just need to wait for, um... Ugh, shit. Brad to throw down the rocket launcher. This might be a redo already. Not done a good job here, and I just missed him the depth. It's my worst enemy, I swear, throughout this entire run. Ouch. Oh, I'm running right into him there, and I'm on red once again. Let's uh, use the other full heal. Oh, come on. That's it. Oh, that was a bit too long there by me. Okay. Oh, I've got him a, bit, a little bit too far away from him. I think I might be better pacing myself a little bit here. Instead of running round him in circles, if I do repeat this, I need to kind of, um... Just come at him from the front, I think, instead, and run past him. It works a bit better, I believe. Got this music with what I'm doing at the moment. It's great. So fitting, isn't it? Ouch. Double ouch. Uh oh. Ah, yep, that's me dead. I've never seen him do that before. That's pretty cool. So if he does the double slap and you're on low health, he will just finish you off. Because I was actually on yellow there when he did that. All right. So, attempt two. Uh, I can skip all of this. Wonderful. Hey, 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 hey. That's rude. Right, so what I'm going to do is... I'm going to keep on running past him. Like this, you see. Because it just seems to work out better. If I can just run past him like that on the uh, left-hand side, providing he doesn't keep on aligning with me like he's doing at the moment. I really need a good cam camera angle to fight him with. Because... Yeah, it's a bit of a pain in the ass trying to avoid him. He does try and run over this side, doesn't he? Look, like that, see? That works out pretty well, but it's going to take a long-ass time to actually beat him, for sure. Alright, let's run past him again. Do it again. Just keep doing this. See what I mean? It's working. I ran past him on the wrong side there, but that's okay. We actually did avoid him. So that's fine. Alright, do it again. Like that. See, it's working. It's really, really working. Maybe I can do this without taking any damage. Never mind. It's also about depth as well. I need to kind of gauge it correctly so I can run past him and knife him. You know, and not actually run too far past him, if that makes sense. Just wonder how many knife hits it's going to take. I didn't mean to do that, but that works. Run a little bit too far there accidentally. All right. Again, I could maybe get two knife hits in him if I can um, get him to rotate enough. Oh, maybe shouldn't do that. He just tried to kill me there, didn't he? He just tried to kill me. He definitely just tried to kill me. But he failed, and that's good. Oh, I can do it again. Oh, careful. Oh, fuck. Okay, might be best I heal myself soon. All right, let's go again. That's it. Let's not get cocky. Let's not get cocky, because I only just avoided that there, didn't I? Let's just keep on doing this. Yep, no, that's bad. Run, run, run. Okay, go again. That's it. Uh, get over there. Face him. Go. It's working. Whoa, 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 whoa. Careful. Alright, let's face him again. Go. Oh, shit, I ran straight into him there. Probably best healing myself with the double herb here. Just keep running, because he's about to hit it again. There we go. Go again. Oh, that works. Oh, shit, I just ran directly into him. Didn't mean to do that. Well, obviously I didn't mean to do that. Why would I mean to ever do that? If I can get directly behind him like that, I can make this a little bit quicker at least, but I do need to be very, very careful about doing it. And I ran directly into him again there. Oh, God, he's going to town on me. I'm on orange now. Right. I ran down the wrong side, and I'm on red now. That's no good. That's really no good. So that means I only have three green herbs left for the final fight. And I have no idea how... Oh, God, what's he doing? Oh, shit. I have no idea how many... Okay, we got him, we got him. 
I have no idea how many knife hits I'm gonna have to get on, on the final version of him before um what a miserable death. Before Brad will drop the rocket launcher or if I just have to endure. I think I do have to knife him a bit like in remake. So um it's electronically locked. Do I need to do something? I assume so. Where the, what, what, what do I need to do? To go over here, do something with this. Control device for this room. It's locked. Uh, unlock the door. Can I do that and just get away from him? Can I just leave him down here? I wonder if that's a thing. Well, I want to knife him anyway. And I've done it. Done it, guys. Wow! Hi. She's alive! Seems like this bulletproof jacket is pretty strong. I see. How about Captain Wesker? He is sleeping with the ultimate failure. <laughs> Hurry up! I want to get out of here. You're such a bitch, Chris. I love it. Wow. Rebecca and her coming prepared to things. Same goes with Barry. Pair of them. The great. They always come prepared. And like, oh god. Why didn't they use Barry and Rebecca more in the series? They're such good characters. They're so much better than the majority of the ones they decided to go with. Resident Evil just has too many characters at this stage. What, Rebecca? I saw a research file in this lab. It said that a great deal of research on the tyrant virus exists right here. We should blow this place up. We are already into it over our heads. Rebecca, can you do it? Yes, sir. I'll set off a triggering system for a bomb. Okay. Now we have a chance to escape. See you outside the house. Oh yeah, I forgot this about Rebecca. She's a fucking psychopath who likes to blow shit up. Uh, standard scientist, I suppose. It's not a triggering system for a detonation or anything. It's literally just Rebecca, like, going, ha ha ha, let's blow up everything, shall we? Uh, I just need to get out of here now. That's it. I'm going to save, but I'm going to save in a different slot because I'm not too... I've got my ribbons on me. Oh, hello. Okay, I did actually have another mixed herb in my inventory, I didn't realise. Yeah, I'm gonna save in a different slot because I'm not... Well, I'm a little bit worried that, yeah, this won't be enough to defeat the final boss. It might be, but, um, let's save down here. We do have another slot we can save into. I can repeat that fight, though, and probably do a better job of it if I really, really need to. Alright, so let's uh, deposit the ink ribbon for the last time. I might just keep it on me, actually, because we can save upstairs if we get a clean run through this place, I suppose. We need to go save Jill now. Oh, we got another knifing segment. Okay, that's fine. Oh, he's gonna vomit on us. That's fine. Have your vomit back, you dickhead. I hope we don't have to deal with, like, any more dogs or anything here. So I'm gonna be quite upset if that is the case. Oh no, we gotta deal with hunters instead. Great. Okay, that's fine by me. Oh, we did it. I actually did it. Okay, what's it drop for me? Oh, yeah, the final magnum bullets. I forgot about this. Alright, let's leave those. Definitely don't need them. I can throw them at the tyrants. Alright, so, just gotta get through here. Fucking mad woman Rebecca is. Alright, we're gonna, we're gonna take some hits here. I can accept that, but I just wanna take as few as possible. I don't think there's any more to worry about just here, is there? Because, uh, well... Oh, yeah, this is where all the zombies... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, God. I should be killing these, really. Instead of doing what I'm doing at the moment. I'm gonna die. There's no way about this. There's nothing I can do here. Look at this. This is bullshit. Uh, am I really gonna survive all... Oh, God, I nearly did. So very nearly did. How am I going to get through there? Well, I can't exactly knife him. I'm just going to have to take him, aren't I? I'm just going to have to take all those bites. It's just what's going to happen. It's just going to be a Chris all-you-can-eat buffet, isn't it? Oh my god, you can't skip this. You actually can't skip this. I'm pressing everything. You can't skip this. So I'm just going to have to put up with this every single time we get mo molested by zombies as we did do before. Hmm. Maybe I can bait them further out or something like that. I don't know. How the hell am I going to do that? Like, maybe if I just stand closer to this side of the, uh, the room, maybe some of them will stray off. Oh, what on earth? Did you just see that? Did you actually just see that? Oh god, I can't see now. Oh, shit, 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 get off, get off, get off, get off. Let's get Jill out quick. Maybe she can help. Maybe a little just despawn if I go in here. That's actually great. Jill, sorry for making you wait. Chris! Oh, fucking hell. 
Aww. But we have Rebecca. And Chris is very clearly gay. I knew I could trust you. Let's go. There's no need to stay. Yeah, Jill's just like, I love you, Chris. And Chris is like, hey, hey friendo. Hmm. That's pretty much how he is through the entire series, I suppose. It's like Pierre's. He makes really, you know, alluring eyes at Pierre's. I should, but you should too. Healthy relationship they would have had. Let's get going. Yeah, let's. Let's, let's not talk about this any longer, shall we? Might upset someone. Oh, and Wesker. Wesker, yeah. I mean... Oh, right, okay. So, uh, we just need to get up these stairs. I think there's a few zombies that we need to get past. Hopefully they'll stray off and we can get past them. Or I could just run directly into one but it tries to vomit over me. That's perfectly okay. We've done it. Let's get going. We don't have the opportunity to save again? No, we don't. Oh, we actually don't. But I do have the opportunity to use the inventory again. However, there's nothing in here for us to take. Hmm. Well, whatever, let's go. We can throw ink ribbons at him. That works. You know, the final boss. Chuck the ink ribbons at him. I'm pretty much in the exact same scenario. I was in when I did my um, remake playthrough with uh, Chris on the hardest difficulty. Like I mentioned before, you know, where I had to knife the tyrant to death and that was purely because I just ran out of bullets. That game is fucking rough. But I don't think Rebecca helps us in the original game. Pretty sure she goes to deal with the monsters, I say in quotation marks. So, uh, yeah, we got to deal with them all on our own. I'm just going to do a little dance here because my controller is doing its thing. It's, I, I think, um, if I play a game like this again, I might play on, like, Xbox One controller instead. Because I, I think it's more fitted for RPGs and things like that, where you don't have to press diagonal, if you catch me. And in goes the battery. Rebecca, you could have given us some more time. I made it! I set off the triggering system to the bomb! Thank you, you fucking psychopath. So, up we go. I assume I can do the same thing I did with the Tyrant on this phase as well. I think that's going to work out because he's not going to dash at us providing we don't get X amount of distance away from him. So, we just need to stay nice and close and just keep on running past him. But we can't afford to um, get too far away to do the kind of run behind him. We just got to stay a bit closer this time. We don't have much healing, so really, really got to get, got to be careful. Take our time with this and just try and get to that point where we can get Brad to drop the rocket launcher. I don't think you can finish him off with a knife, for the record. I'm not even going to attempt that. I mean, there's a slim possibility that is something you can do, but I really, really doubt it. Because... Like, every single final boss in every Resident Evil game has to be finished with a special item, I believe. Can I think of any that don't? No. No, not really. No. No. Just thinking Resident Evil 4, Resident Evil 5, Code Veronica. No. Every single one, I believe. There might be one. There might be one or two, actually. Right, so, run past him on this side. Stat- okay, that didn't work. Oh, fucking hell, he does back hits. Oh! Oh, you're, be you're playing rough now. That's not very nice. I need to get past you, you see, and do this. And I missed. Ah, that's a problem. That is a major problem. Like, that is a real problem right there, and I can't even get close enough to knife him. Because he arcs away from you. Oh, dear. It would help if I ran the right side of him as well. Oh, God. Look, what? He's showing off. He is really, really showing off here, and I don't have much healing left. Oh, God. What's he doing? Oh, dear. Yeah, this is a major problem. 
I'm just gonna have to kind of stay close to him and just edge around him like a tiny amount. Like this. Yeah, that works. Oh. I'm nearly dead. I don't know how this is gonna work out. Oh dear. Ah, shit. Like I said, I think we need to do X amount of damage to him in order to get Brad to drop the rocket launcher. Oh. Oh, no, 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 it's happening. You're our Amazon, Chris. No, 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 not an Amazon, I'm afraid. Right, here we go. Throw the uh, ink ribbons at him. I'm ready. Oh, fucking hell. Well, this could have been a lot rougher if it would have taken several night pits to uh, deal with him. Ugh. My eyes. I no longer have eyes. We did it! We actually did it! Fucking hell, knife run complete! <laughs> and I use every bit of my healing supplies there. Every little bit of our healing supplies. But we did it. We did it. We actually fucking did it. Oh dear. Same cutscene. Exactly the same, actually. I didn't realize. But uh, Rebecca's sleeping over there, and Chris looks over at her. And he's like, I need a healing touch. Every night. All night. I personally prefer the Barry edition. Who wouldn't? So, in the previous one, I didn't show these credits. It has the most miserable music. I, I don't know if it, the original had the same music. I don't believe it did, but yeah, let's skip them, shall we? All right, here we go. Total time, 3 hours, 50 minutes and 45 seconds. I actually did that faster, but I'm not surprised. So 22 saves, yes. Uh, what is this? I don't understand. Is this like Chris on a bell? <laughs> what a tough guy. <laughs> we can now play as Rebecca. Hooray. What is this? It's like Chris on a balcony looking at like a sort of public broadcasting TV? Do we, like, do they even have those in America? We don't have them in the UK. Might have them in London somewhere, but like, I'd be surprised if you could even see them from any balcony because of the amount of buildings there are and how close they are together. So we got the key for the locker as well, of course, for uh, to get Chris's special attire. I'm gonna show you what they are. I'm curious to find out. So uh, let's save in a different slot uh, to what we saved for Jill Waddy, because I want to have a look at that one as well. It won't take us too long to get to that point where we're able to go into the closet. Let's go with Jill first, shall we? Yeah, it just it starts from this point. You don't have to watch the cutscene, but uh, it doesn't take too long to get the first key to get over there, does it? So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm so grateful you can skip all the door animations and stuff like that as well, because like. Like, I'm gonna be able to power through this so fucking quick. Like, this game has been really easy, admittedly, as well. I wonder if it ups the difficulty from playing on New Game Plus. I didn't really consider that, but I, I, I firmly doubt it does. Carving of armor. That's what we need. We need the armor key. I can't really remember. Is the armor key the one you get from uh, the plants, or is it the one you get from... Um I do get the other one. I've forgotten. Oh, uh, the other one would be from the clock. The wrong key, probably. What is it? Shit, it's the shield key. Okay. <laughs> this is hell. I didn't really consider how bad this would be. I'm getting my knife out, I didn't need to do that. I keep doing it. I really keep doing it. I'm getting so used to using the knife, which I absolutely do not need to use anymore. Oh, this better be the bloody armor key because, well, there is one more, isn't there? No, 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 no. <laughs> this is the fucking helmet key again, laser, isn't it? There we go. So we got the armor key. You just need to get over to the closet now. Not a problem. So that took me a grand total of, uh, forgot about you. Not like you're gonna be a problem. That took me a grand total of just eight minutes. Exactly eight minutes, actually, to get here. Um, and you, I forgot about you as well. Not a problem once again. I'm ready for speedruns, guys. I'm ready for speedruns. Alright, so, never ever been in this room. 
never been in this room. I didn't get go in in my original playthrough because, well, never even did a repeat playthrough or anything like that. Not even off screen. So I've never seen this. Uh, wow. That's a lot. That's really cool as well. I wonder what it's like in the original game, by contrast, if there's any new costumes in this. Looks like it's your size. How convenient. Change costumes? I guess we are just getting into what we see, so a police girl outfit, by the looks of it. Is it going to be raunchy, though? Just a moment, please. Uh, we're leaving? I didn't want to leave, but sure. Reveal, guys. Oh, fucking hell. No. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Just no. It's no, Capcom. What are you fucking doing? What the fuck is this? It doesn't fit. What? What the fuck is that? Is that a samurai outfit? What else we got? Must be for Chris, yeah. Right, so we got one more. I'm going to be equally as grossed out about this one. Oh my god. I can't see that being in the original game. Like, Jill's outfit that she has in Resident Evil 3, one of them is particularly saucy, but it's not to that level. That's fucking disgusting. She has a school... a school kill. Oh, fuck. A policewoman outfit in... Uh, now, that, that looks pretty nice, actually. I like that. I do like that. I assume this was one in the original game. Maybe there was only one outfit. There's nothing else in there, is there? But yeah, this is pretty cool, and it's changed the hairstyle as well, hasn't it? Oh no, it's just lost the hat. I think I'm just not used to seeing it like this. Um, I don't believe there's any others. Yeah, uh, yeah, it, it has a um, policewoman outfit in Resident Evil 3, doesn't it? But it's not that bad. It's not like this. Why am I looking at it again? I, I just... Oh, I don't like this. I really don't like this. So on to Chris. I, 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 I had a look, by the way, to see if um, those outfits are... <laughs> I don't know what happened either, Jill. I, <laughs> I had a look to see if um, the same outfits are in the other versions of this game. They're not. They're not. There's actually a policewoman outfit. A more normal, more reasonable looking police girl outfit. Like, fuck me. Gross. Fucking gross. It's going to take me a bit longer to probably get to uh, where I need to go with Chris, I guess, but it's because of the addition of um, an extra key to acquire, isn't it? But uh, we do have a pistol this time. We don't have to knife everything, at least. I can see myself fucking up regardless. I've also been told by my fiancé to take a look at Rebecca, so we're going to be doing that as well. Apparently, uh, well, Barry does not get an additional outfit, sadly. Rebecca does, and I'm dreading the thought of this, because, god. It seems like almost every version of this game actually has a different outfit, by the way. Like, uh, it's pretty impressive that they put so many different ones in, but I don't understand why not all of them. Yeah, so we get the key from here, don't we? Like, the Saturn version has different outfits, the PlayStation version has different outfits, the Director's Cut version has different outfits. Pretty cool! <laughs> what? Excuse me? Alright, I thought I did that pretty fast, but not six minutes fast. What the hell? I can speedrun this game now. It's time, guys. Right, deal with you because you'll probably interrupt my uh, costume Adm admiration or whatever. I don't know. Alright, let's uh, get rid of the special key. We need to go see Rebecca as well because, like I said, my fiance mentioned about the outfits. So I do need to go back and forth a little bit. That also means I'm going to have to get out key, actually, because I'll need to unlock the piano room to make her spawn in there, won't I? Right, so put on the sexy policewoman outfit. No, it doesn't. Uh, let's put on the outfit at the back first. It doesn't fit you. Excuse me? No, that one. Okay, guess I was slightly tilted over the wrong direction. What's this, then? It looks like some sort of bike outfit, or maybe it's um Claire's... One, the one that she has from Chris, you know, the one from Resident Evil 2. It does vaguely look like it, but I could be wrong. I mean, it's not red enough, is it? Uh, it's, uh, it's pretty close. That looks cool, though. I like it. It suits him. It suits him, though. I think beige isn't really his color, actually. Right, let's have a closer look. Oh, look at that, yeah. 
I love these little designs they have on the back, uh, Claire and Chris, with the um, the outfits that they have across the games. But yeah, it could have done better than beige. Like, maybe some biker levers or something? That would have looked really cool, I think. Maybe like a leather biker hat as well, so, you know, he has the full, complete uh, gay bondage look. Right, so let's um, put this on. It's my size, yep. I, 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 I am your butterfly. I need your protection, need my samurai. Um, where's my samurai? Oh god, he's gone full Naruto. It looks pretty cool, actually. Wow, the detailing on it. That is uh, really impressive. Like, really, really impressive. I like this one a lot. I mean, it, it's comedic for what it is, in terms of what game we're currently playing. It doesn't really make a lot of sense, does it? But I like it. I really, really like it. It's it's cool. It looks decent. And it's not a skimpy police girl outfit either, is it? Anyway, let's go see a Rebecca, shall we? I'm dreading this. I'm fucking dreading this. I don't want it. I really don't want it. I think I can safely say, by the way, that the difficulty is not amped up in New Game Plus at all. Uh, it seems exactly the same. I can't tell any difference at all. Just, it is really easy overall. Uh, though I've had fun doing this knife run that we just finished here. It was a challenge. It was a legit challenge and something, you know, I had to really think about given the fact we have auto-aim stuck on and... Uh, a few of the enemies, like the hunters, were definitely not designed to be knifed. So, uh, yeah, it's been a challenge. A thought-provoking challenge. Alright, so here we go, the big reveal, guys. Are you ready? I don't believe I am. Oh, yeah, we've got to actually get the... Yeah, I forgot. Okay. Big reveal coming soon. Hopefully I've got the right outfit on for this as well. I didn't think about that. Because uh, it might be the other one that she changes outfits with. It's me, Chris. Oh my god. You're kidding me. Is that you, Rebecca? <laughs> when was that Easter egg found? Ah, when was that Easter egg found? Fanatic. The the one with regards to like Resident Evil Can 2 finding the picture of her in the basketball outfit. I believe it was found after this game was released. So, I mean, if that was the case, then that's pretty hilarious. And a nice little, um reference, I guess, as well. It looks like in other versions of the game, Rebecca will, uh, specifically the director's cut, Rebecca will also wear a new outfit in that as well. Right, so providing I don't come back to this game and play the multiplayer mode of it, or, uh, yeah, the mercenaries mode anytime soon, that's it for now. Aside, we have one more thing left to do in this game. Wait, what is that? 